if you've come off the mountain with the, if your life is full, um, then it's time to release. That would be the next thing that happens. Mm -hmm. and, and so being intentional about where you offer uh, this fullness um, as a blessing to others, as those who are walking the same road but, but are hungrier than you are at this moment. Um, so that you can assist them on that road. Um, and it's like the medicine wheel. We are continually walking the medicine wheel, walking the wheel. And we're all at different places. We're all at different places. And um, sometimes we're in the East with this inspiration and new vision and excited. Sometimes we're in the South where we're working hard to... to manifest or create this vision um, sometimes we're in the west where we're just we're, we're appreciating uh, all that we have created um, we're, we're, we're feeling quite satisfied um, and then we're beginning to let go you know so that new vision can rise up again we move into the north and we begin to let go um, so that some new vision can begin to find us along that medicine wheel. And, uh, and we're all at different places on the wheel, so this way that we're all teachers and students for each other um, by how we live our lives. And, um, and so the, the moving out, so I think this moving outside of uh, this isolationist view of success and survival that tends to separate us you know that phrase it's lonely at the top well it's only lonely at the top if you have no community that you're that you're blessing and that's why it's important for for elders to be engaged in community because they have a lot to offer you know and, and so that, so that they can offer those blessings of being elder to, to give back to community. Mm. Um, you know, it's only lonely at the top if you've uh, not attended to those in your community on the way there because it's, it's their shoulders that you're standing on. Um, not only theirs, but your ancestors as well. Um, and so this this old reductionistic way and isolation, isolationistic way of, of uh, seeing ourselves uh, as happy and successful but somewhat walled off from everyone else with our, our six-foot fences and um, corporate boardrooms and fine offices overlooking you know the river there's no one else up there but us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's nothing wrong with success. There's nothing wrong with any of it. It's, it's more about connection. You know, how do we, how do we maintain connection with, that, uh, with parts, those parts of ourselves that knows what life was like before this time? And how do we maintain connection with um, you know, the other non-human world that is that is out there as well.